This short video is on the design of uh, evaporators, the principal design. Uh, but what is evaporation? Well, evaporation is when you separate a volatile component from a non-volatile component or components that's often called solids. Uh, compare when you reduce a sauce in your kitchen and boiling away uh, the water or the ethanol or whatever. You can contrast evaporation with distillation where you separate components components with different volatility, so many components being volatile, but you separate them. And drying, where you separate the liquid, for example water, from solid material by evaporating the liquid. So why do we study evaporation? Well, it has a vast range of industrial uses. Uh, for example, if it wasn't for evaporation, we wouldn't have paper to write on, because black liquor evaporation is a key thing in pulp mills. Uh, to make use concentrate, you often use evaporation or to make milk powder, some pharmaceuticals and proteins. Um, they also use uh, evaporation to pr produce those. Uh, sugar, also evaporation. And to make drinking water from seawater, evaporation is one possible separation process. So th there is a vast range of different things. And the design principle, well, it consists of three different things. There is a heat exchanger a phase separator and a condenser. So you have a feed coming in to the heat exchanger and the feed is heated up such that a part is evaporated uh, and goes into the phase separator where all the liquid preferably goes down here and the vapor comes up here without any liquid. And so no entrainment in Swedish ingen medryckning of droplets and then this vapor goes into a condenser, condensing this vapor to a liquid. And actually this step here, the condenser, is what determines the pressure on the feed side. So what do we use for heating in the heat exchanger? Well, often steam is used. So we take in steam and let that condense, and hence use the evaporation enthalpy of the steam uh, to va vaporize part of the feed. Our course focus is that uh, we focus on calculating the required heat exchanger area, the steam consumption and the steam economy. And we will come back to that, what that is. And we will also talk about multi-effect evaporators and do computer calculations of uh, one uh, multi-effect evaporator in Compulsive Task 2. And we will talk about pros and cons uh, in different multi-effect evaporator setups. Now, uh, I said that the condenser determines uh, the pressure. So why is the pressure so important? Well, consider this uh, situation. You have a 90 degree solution with one gram of sodium chloride per liter water at one atmosphere. And then the pressure suddenly drops to 0 0.5 atmosphere. What happens? Pause here and try to answer that question. Well, what happens is that this solution will evaporate to a certain fraction. Uh, so, and the conclusion here is that if you want to boil something at a lower temperature, you should reduce the pressure, right? Uh, and if the pressure is reduced, uh, the solution can, may flash. That means that it goes almost instantly from being a liquid to being a com combined mixture of liquid and gas. So when we talk about uh, this design principle, the condenser here is what determines the pressure on, on the feed side. And the pressure on the steam side is what determines uh, the condensation temperature on the steam side.